Hey everybody, how you guys doing? Curly Stay Ready TV. Yeah, it's been a minute, y'all. How y'all doing? It is Sunday. I'm here at work getting ready to start my day at work here at doing security on Sunday. Um, yes, I've been missing in action, you guys. But I'm back now, you know. I fell off a little bit, as we all do. So I'm coming back, y'all. I'm coming back. So put some notifications on, okay? Um, um, where have I been? Mm, just been working, y'all. I ain't been doing too much. Um, I have some reasons why I fell off, you know, but uh, it wasn't something that, it sh that should have kept me away as long as I've been away. Um, so uh, there's no excuse. But uh, I'm coming back, so uh, be ready for me. Uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Curly. And uh, I'm bringing like uh, traveling content, uh, healthy eating. Uh, I've been a pescatarian for eight years. I work out quite a bit. Um, I do a lot of stay ready stuff. That's what I do. Uh, I call myself Stay Ready, Curly Stay Ready. Um, so that's what I'll be bringing on my channel for those who do not know me, who just run across my channel. Um, I have been traveling to the continent, uh, Nigeria. I've been there six times. The past three years, I will be traveling back again in a few days. So. Uh, I will be bringing some different type of content when I get there this time. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I know that I've been bringing amazing content. Um, I just need to stay focused. Um, I would have been monetized by now, but uh, I'll get there. I'm not worried about that. I'll get there. Um, anyway, uh, I will be coming back on this evening for lunch. I'll show you guys what I'm eating tonight. And uh, this is going to be a long video because I'm going to uh, take you guys home with me tonight as well. Have a little chit chat before I go to bed. I'm off tomorrow, Memorial Day. So uh, I got a lot of time, y'all, you know. And uh, I know there's somebody who been missing Curly. I know there's got to be somebody, right? It's got to be somebody. Because uh, when I do go in my YouTube studio and I happen to run across some comments, they were like, Curly, I'm so glad that you're bringing this content. Um, I appreciate you. Uh, you know, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And it just hits me in my heart real heavy. So that's what make me just want to make sure that I come back to you guys and let you guys know that I do appreciate you guys. And... Uh, and uh, I'm going to stay focused this time. You know, because when I come on, I tend to go strong and then I fall back off again. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sure it, um, I'm not the only person that is ha it has happened to um, as a YouTuber. But uh, we, we generally would get focused eventually and stay on. So that's what I'm going to be um, trying to do. And uh, so stay tuned, you guys. I'll be back. I'll be coming back for my lunch. So I'll see you guys in a minute, okay? Bye-bye. Hey, y'all. I'm back. Um, I'm on my break now. Um, let me show you guys what I'm going to be eating. I'm eating tuna. A second you guys let me get this situated let me show you guys what i'm eating mm. there's some tuna let me see let you guys see tuna um you see my eggs on top um i have some cheese there i have some um rich crackers some organic rich crackers and some um some sea salt pepper crackers these are the Organic ones. Get you guys another look at the tuna. Can you see it? All right. Probably can't see it that well. 
anyway, y'all know what tuna look like, right? <sighs> anyway, you guys, I almost didn't come back on because, man, when your kids get to be adults, just let them be adults, okay? You can't fix them. They gotta fix themselves. Mm. Only have a half an hour for lunch, so I'm eating fast, y'all. I've been working at this job for um, several months. I'm not sure of how long actually, but um, maybe maybe seven months, something like that. I don't know. I haven't been counting. But I bring my lunch to work every day. I have not missed a day yet. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Mm. Mm -mm. Because I'm here to make money, baby, and not to spend it. Okay? If I got some some cheese here. Mm. Yeah, I put cheese on my tuna. I sure do. Uh, 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 uh. Watch it. Hi. Take care. Okay. Sorry about that. No problem. No problem. No problem. <laughs> yeah, they came a little close to the car. I was like, watch them doors now. Watch them doors. Because I will, I will charge you for every little ding you put in my car. But they were very nice, though. When they realized I was here and I was watching, and I rolled down my window too, they made sure they held that door so their grandma can get out. Anyway. Mm. Mm. My first meal of the day, you guys. I only eat one meal a day. Because that's all I need, you know? Are there three meals a day? Not me, uh-uh. One meal is enough for me. Now, there's times when I feel like I need something extra, then I'll eat a little extra. But other than that, I eat one meal a day. Yeah, my last time eating was last night, somewhere around... I think it was somewhere around before 8 o'clock, I know that. And when I work on Sundays, I never eat until 6 o'clock p.m. Mm-hmm. Very disciplined, huh? Mm-hmm. Yes, I am. Because I like to look nice and lean. You know what I'm saying? 
I think my waist is about a um about a 28 and a half right now. Yeah, baby, snatched. Mm-hmm. Because the more you eat, the more weight you have on you. I'm just keeping it real. And I've trained myself to only eat one meal a day. And I make sure I get all of my nutrients, you know? I think I got my vitamins somewhere up down there. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm six minutes and 47 seconds in. Mm. I'm excited about my trip. So you guys tune in. I'm going to be doing some stuff different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. First meal of the day, you guys. First meal of the day. Mm -hmm. All I had was some, um, I think I had a little coffee this morning, and I hadn't had coffee in a while, but I had coffee this morning. And once I got to work, I had me some organic green tea. And now I'm eating my dinner. Mm -hmm. So, I do a lot of intermittent fasting and I do some keto too, you know? So, over the last Five days or so, I've lost a pound a day. Um, and I knew I wanted to lose a few pounds before I start traveling. Yep, so I have accomplished five pounds down. Which that brought, brought my waistline down to 28 and a half. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to finish eating this. <clears throat> I'll see you guys when I get off, okay? Ooh, I am back. I'm off of work, and I'm exhausted. Oh, my God. You guys, I've been standing for five and a half hours. Oh, wait a minute. I'm tired. When I say I'm tired, I'm tired. My brain is not tired. My body is tired. My legs feel like noodles. The bottom of my feet hurt. One of my knees hurt. That's why I can only do this job one day a week, Sundays. But guess what? I'm on vacation now. I took off five Sundays uh, from this job. Um, I requested it, he gave it to me. What does that tell you? I got it like that, okay? So, I'm out of here. Uh, I need to get some gas. Do I need it? Mm. Ooh, can I can I make it home without it? Can I? I don't think so, but I'll see once I get to this corner. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys! I am so happy right now. Woo! Oh my goodness. It's been a long night. That's why I can only do this job one day a week. I could not do security 
five days a week, seven days a week. I I couldn't do it. I, my whole body would be broke up. can see me hope y'all can see me um let's see i think i might need some gas y'all I'm sure I can make it, but I don't want to roll like that, you know, because it might get some traffic or something. I may get a hold up. Just anything can happen, right? So my name is Stay Ready, so I need to stay ready, right? And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to pull up to this gas station right here on this corner, get my gas real quick. I'm going to keep you guys with me, okay? But anyway, maybe we'll have some conversation on the way home, talk about some some stuff um, that's kind of dear to my heart right now. I've been watching a little YouTube, um, and I've been seeing some stuff that I'm not too happy with. So I, I think I want to have a conversation about it, because uh, these are not things that I do, so I think I can speak about it. So let me give me some gas. Or at least I don't do it anymore. Maybe when I was younger, but I don't do it any longer. So let me give you some gas, y'all. Um, give me one second. Yeah, let me get, me get my card and stuff out. Let me lock my door first while I get my card out. That's what y'all do, ladies. Make sure you lock your door. And let me find my card, which I should have had the card already ready. How about that? So... Give me a moment, y'all. Give me a moment. Okay, you guys, I'm back. Oh, my God. Where is my sanitizer? Jesus. Slipping curly girl, you supposed to be staying ready, girl. You ain't got your sanitizer. Okay, let's go, you guys. Get up out of here, y'all. Let's get out of here. Anyway, let's go take me about uh, maybe uh, about maybe 35, 40 minutes to get home, depending upon how the freeway is. The freeway is usually not too bad. I think I recall one Sunday since I've been coming out here to where the traffic was kind of kind of weird. It was kind of like some traffic, and I don't know where everybody was going. But usually it's pretty clear. So let's see what's going on with it tonight. I'm hoping to get home soon. Because uh, I just want to, you know, relax. Yes. Anyway. Anyway, let me... um. Let me get on the freeway first so I can see what's going on before I start chit-chatting about what I've been seeing on YouTube a little bit. I mean, I've been seeing a lot of stuff, but I've been seeing a lot of drama and it's kind of hard to compete with drama because I'm not a drama person. 
I know you guys can't um, see me, so maybe, you know what? That's okay, okay, you, you guys can hear what I'm saying. Anyway, yeah, there's been a lot of drama and uh, I'm not a drama person, you know? It's very, very difficult for me to uh, pres present content that's you know, drama, because I'm not a drama person. I'm very lax. I try to stay away from as much drama as I can, but if I get mad enough, you may <laughs> you may think that I'm that I have drama, but I don't. I don't. Um anyway, but that's not really what I what I want to talk about. I've been seeing a lot of, you know, I want to talk to the ladies tonight ladies from the 20s all the way up to their 50s. I just want to say this. If you're scared about going into a relationship or if you feel like that pretty much only tells me is that you're not mature enough or you don't trust yourself enough to make the right decisions because if you trust yourself then there's nothing, there's nothing scary about going into a relationship. Now, I would tell anybody to take your time, get to know a person, um, you know, see how they are, take your time, don't let that person rush you, take your time so that you can know who you're getting yourself into. You know, you may want to have children one day and you want to have children with the right person, right? You don't want to have children with somebody who has a mental illness or anything. So you need to, because your children might have mental illnesses, you know? So, um, and other things, you have to be just very careful. So I would say, ladies, take your time. Don't let the man, don't, don't let the man coerce you into doing stuff um, sooner than you want to do take your time when you feel it's time then you move okay if you don't if you don't think it's time then take your time and uh that's gonna save you for a lot of from a lot of turmoil uh and men tend to like women i mean to believe it or not they really will respect you they won't tell you that some will the right one will he will respect you for that. But most want you to rush into things because they have ulterior motive in the beginning. So they like to rush things because they don't really want to be with you anyway. So they're trying to get what they can get and move on to the next person, right? So just take your time, get the big picture, watch what they say, you know what I'm saying? Usually a person would tell you or show you who they are. You know, it used to be 90 days that they, you know, you would kind of keep an eye on them. But right now, baby, they will show you. You keep an eye on them for 30 days, baby. They will, believe me, they'll show you who they are. Believe me. So, but I expect young women to do, to do these things and to be, you know, scared to go into a relationship, but I can't see women that are over 40, really. You know? So, just know what you want. Be strong, ladies. Be strong. Uh, make your own decisions, you know? If, if things don't sound right, it's not right, you know? much what I want to say about that because we have these women getting into these deadbeat type of relationships wasting so much time you know now you can make a relationship what you want it to be you know if you're strong enough you know you know what you don't want to do you know what you do want to do just don't let the man change you you know 
moving the way you want to move. You know what type of relationship you want. You know what life you want to live, you know? You know what you do want, what you don't want in a relationship. So act appropriately, you know what I'm saying? Don't act weak. Don't act like you confused or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we may be unsure about some things, you know, we're, we're kind of watching the person, you know, things that he say, the way he moves, if he's opening a car door, you know, which we all don't need that all the time, but it would be nice to get it, right? And we want to be treated amazing. I know that I do. And I'm not taking anything less than that. So that's where I move, you know what I'm saying? Ladies. Um, so we have these women in these relationships for 10 plus years. You know, they're not even married. You know, you may not want to be married, but if you do want to be married and the person that you with doesn't want to get married and it's been over a year, because I think it only takes about a year to know whether you want to marry a person or not, you know. And if it takes, if it takes any longer than that, you know, and if you want to be married, then lady, you need to get with somebody who's who wants to be married. You know what I'm saying? So don't just spend your time, you know. Um, you know, so that's pretty much what I want to say about that. I'm going to stop while, while I'm ahead, you know. Um, I hope you guys get the drift. I hope for those who need it, this little chit chat, you know, um, who has learned something just from what I just said, you know, I would be very, very happy about that because uh, if this conversation changes one person, one person, then I feel like I have accomplished something, you know? Anyway. things that I want to talk about. I thought about some more stuff I need to talk about. I ain't done with y'all ladies. Y'all might get mad at me. <clears throat> anyway, another thing, ladies, if you got three, four, five babies, you know, daughters, you know, sons or whatever, you know, and you are not with their father and you dating another man, you know what I'm saying? Date that man, but don't don't bring that man home to you where your children are. You know, let your children. If your children have a relationship with their own father, then let that be the only man that your children are seeing. The person that you're dating, keep that person on the outside. Date him, get to know him. You know, um, but to really be honest with you, in my opinion, 
if you got children like that, then I don't think you need to be dating at all, to be truly honest with you. You need to raise your children, raise them up, because you decided to have all them kids, you know, and then you wonder why you ain't got no relationship, you know what I'm saying, or... Wait a minute, okay. Um, well, not wonder why you don't have a relationship, but if you have that many children, you need to take out the time. You don't have time to for a relationship is what I'm trying to say. You don't, in my opinion. You need to raise your children if you're not with their father, raise your children and then start your relationship. Because especially what's going on today, these men, you know, I mean, we have some men that will take your children on and raise them as their, their own, okay? Some will. Some will, some women get lucky like that, okay? And be amazing to their children. But in my opinion, I would say raise your children, let them, if they're seeing their father, let them see their father, don't, don't confuse them. And if you're dating a man, date him on the outside and don't bring him home, especially if you have daughters. Don't do it. And if you have sons, don't do it either, but especially daughters, okay? That's in my opinion, okay? And I know somebody gonna get mad, but this is my channel and I just wanted to uh, state that, okay? Let me see, what, what else I need to talk about? Um, let's see. has been bothering me about these relationships and stuff, you know. Women, uh, now I've seen some older women, 35, 40, 50, 55. Now, you got these men that you know they ain't about nothing, okay? They could be your husbands, they could be your, uh, they could be your uh, boyfriend or whatever the case may be and you just keep taking them people you keep you keep taking that person back knowing that they have treated you like crap okay they have did everything under the sun to show you that they don't have that they don't have no respect for you at all at all and then you keep accepting them back in your life okay my mama told me if a man treats you bad continue to treat you bad and when you come back okay when you come back all he gonna do is try to finish you off if he accepts you back now he know he treating you bad okay and you just keep on coming back he just trying to finish you off that's all he trying to do okay because if he didn't put his hands on you he called you every name in the book and you keep on going back and he keep on accepting you back, all he's gonna do is try to finish you off, okay? So, in my opinion, in my opinion, I would say, leave his butt, don't never go back, change your phone number, uh, man, block his number, whatever you need to do to stay away from that creep because if you want a good life, and you want somebody that's going to treat you amazingly, you have to love and respect yourself first. You really do, okay? Quit acting like you are thirsty. Quit acting like you can't be by yourself. Quit acting like you are not, um, you ain't got nothing going on to where uh, you need to stay busy with something, okay? Okay? And keep yourself available for somebody good to come into your life. Because if you keep having this person who you know don't want you, okay, and you shouldn't want him either after he's treating you so bad, you know, and then don't have no daughters, don't have no teenage daughters or young daughters that you're raising, and you're allowing this man to treat you a certain type of way, and your daughters and sons are seeing this, how do you expect for them to grow up and act, okay? I mean, there, there are children that grow up and are nothing like their parents if their parents are weak, you know? But it's very few because kids 
when they see things, you know, they think it's like, see things like that and they see their parents constantly in turmoil and arguing and fussing and fighting or, you know, then they think that's normal. They think that's the norm. It's, it's okay to do that, but it's not. So if you love your children, ladies, then don't allow your children to see you being weak. You have to be strong. Don't act thirsty, don't. Of course, the relationship may hurt because you're by yourself, but you have to position your brain to know that you have to keep yourself available and free for somebody good and positive to come into your life if you want that. Now, I would think that if you continue to be in relationships that are negative and toxic, I'm thinking that's what you want. Okay, because you keep going back, you know. So I know this is gonna make people feel a certain type of way, but you have to, you can't do that. We have we have so much going on in the world today. We have women being murdered um, every day, and uh, you have to do the thing that's gonna keep you and your family safe. So that's pretty much what I want to say about that because we have a lot going on. And I'm not going to put myself in that type of situation. I am in control of me and my emotions and I am not thirsty. I don't need a man. I want a man, but I am not thirsty, baby. Okay? I'm a very strong woman. Okay? I know what I want. Yeah. I really do. Okay? And nobody can break me. Nobody. I'll see y'all when I get to the house. Bye. Hey, y'all. I'm home, as you can see. I'm home, y'all. I'm in my pajamas. Okay? I still got all my t-shirt that I had on. I changed my hat from my work hat to my, you know, anyway, just trying to look appropriate. But look, I just want to come on uh, for a few minutes more just to iterate something that I said while I was driving home about... Um, women who have several young children that they shouldn't have a man. Now, let me change it up a little bit, okay? Um, when my oldest son was 14, I did get married to my youngest son's father, but he was 14, okay? He was 14, that was back then, okay? And he was of age, you know what I'm saying? He was able to stay at home on his own and all that kind of stuff, okay? So I did marry on that time. But I'm just saying for the, the women that have daughters, you know, five, 10, you know, just, and then you bringing a man into the house, especially, and he's moving in and you guys are not married, you know what I'm saying? And the children don't know him and stuff like that. Sometimes they don't want to know him. And they're supposed to know him. And I know some moms be like, you know, my kids ain't got no say-so in this. But they really do. They should. They should because that man is coming within their house. They're coming in the house that they feel, the only place they feel safe. And then you bring it in an unknown suspect, as my young son would call him, a suspect. Okay? Um... <laughs> so that's what I mean by that because I know somebody's going to come for me stating that a woman should not have a man um, when she has several children you know what I'm saying um, I just don't think it's safe for women to have a man that they don't that they're still trying to, to get to know and then they bring it up within the house with their children okay um, so be careful about that. Anyway, y'all. Oof. I'm tired. Look. I got me a little water. And I got this little drop of Jose Cuevo Silver. Okay. This is what I drink. When I do drink. And I don't. As you can see, I still got half. Okay. Because I don't drink a lot. But baby. I'm off work. I don't have to go to work tomorrow. I have, uh, let me see. Um. I have three more, two more work days next week, okay?
two more work days and then I am on my summer break from school and um, today was my last day for my security job I took five Sundays off with them and uh, I'm good so I'm feeling amazing right now <laughs> let me take a sip of this mm. Baby, this will get you where you need. Yes. Mm-hmm. Anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the, um, what I'm going to call this? What I'm going to title this at? Um, Sunday, um, Sunday chat. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'll figure out something, okay? But um, I'm just trying to get acclimated um, back with the camera, you guys. I'm trying to just get my rhythm back. You know what I'm saying? But uh, the things that I talk about or things that are dear to my heart, because I want women to, especially young women, you know, I really need you guys to get it together. You know what I'm saying? Um... It's not the men that's the problem, you know, but um, it's the women that's the problem because we need to understand who we are, okay? We need to go into these relationships with our eyes open and not closed, okay? And not weak and not, uh, uh, I need a man so bad. Go in because you want a man, not because you need one, okay? All right? So anyway, ladies, um, there's going to be some upcoming travel. I will be traveling to Nigeria, as I mentioned before. I'll be there a month. And uh, you guys put the notifications on because I'm going to be doing something different. I'm going to be doing some different stuff. This will be my seventh trip to Nigeria, okay? Um, anybody got any comments or anything, you can put them in the comment section and... Uh, you know, I mean, this might be the only time I'm really in the comments because I know this video is, is maybe like the first video that I've kind of went in a little bit. And uh, usually I don't dabble in conversations like this only because I tend to be kind of blunt and people don't like, like my sons don't even, don't even like me being blunt. You know what I'm saying? They, they oh God. Anyway. So I don't know how to just kind of inch into it. I just kind of dive in, you know. Um, anyway, I will be traveling. You guys put them notifications on. Um, when you see my videos pop up, just tune in because I'm going to be doing some really good stuff, okay? So I'm going to end this video right here, you guys, okay? Um this is my favorite movie, which is Scarface. That is my most favorite. I swear to God. I'm like a Scarface. I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> anyway, you guys, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye, you guys. This is Curly Stay Ready TV. I love you guys. Have an amazing evening. Bye-bye.